All right, today we're going to talk about medians and altitudes of a triangle. The objectives for today are apply properties of medians of a triangle and apply properties of an altitude or altitudes of a triangle. Key vocabulary words median, centroid, altitude, and orthocenter of a triangle. Right, we'll start off with the first one. Median of a triangle is a segment whose endpoints are a vertex of the triangle and the midpoint of the opposite side. So looking at this picture here, we're drawing a line from the vertex C and going straight across to this midpoint D. Okay, this red line here is one median. We could also draw another median going from A to segment CB, and we could also go from point B to this other side, segment AC, and we would have those three medians. All right, every triangle does have three medians, and the medians are concurrent. The point of concurrency of the medians of a triangle is the centroid of the triangle, and the centroid is always inside the triangle. The centroid is also called the center of gravity because it is the point where a triangular region will balance. Looking at this centroid theorem, the centroid of a triangle is located two-thirds of the distance from each vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So looking at this point P, that's the centroid, excuse me, and the distance from A to P is two-thirds the distance from A to Y. Okay, so two-thirds And this would be one third the overall length. All right, looking at an example in triangular LMN, RL is 21 and SQ is 4. We want to find the distance from L to S. So using the centroid theorem, LS is equal to two thirds RL. And we want to substitute 21. So we do 21 times 2 thirds and we get 14. The distance from L to S is 14. All right, next example in triangle LMN, RL is 21 and SQ is 4. Now we want to find the distance from N to Q. Okay, so again, centroid theorem tells us that NS is 2 thirds NQ. Okay, but well this one's a little different because they gave us SQ. That's the smaller part. So using our segment addition postulate, we know that NS plus SQ is equal to NQ. All right, we can go ahead and substitute two-thirds NQ for NS, since this is part of the centroid theorem. Okay, doing some truth. So we're going to subtract two-thirds from both sides. We get that the distance from S to Q is one-third of the distance from N to Q. Okay, and then we substitute 4 for SQ. We're going to multiply both sides by 3. And that tells us that NQ is 12. Okay, I want you to try this example on your own. Pause the video and check yourself. And we'll be back in a minute so that you can see the answer I got. All right, here we go. I got that the distance from K to W is 21. All right, I want you to try another one. Here is example 1B in triangle JKL. The distance from Z to W is 7, and the distance from L to X is 8.1. I want you to find the distance from L to Z. So go ahead, pause the video, and try to solve this one on your own. Alright, um, for this one I got the distance from L to Z is 5.4. If you did not get that, here are the steps to check yourself and see what or how to set up the problem. Moving on, we're going to look at a word problem. A sculptor is shaping a triangular piece of iron that will balance on the point of a cone. At what coordinates will the triangular region balance? Now remember we said that the centroid, that's the point 
where a triangle will balance. So that's what we're having to find. We're going to have to find the centroid. And the answer will be the coordinates of the center of the triangle. The important information is the location of the vertices. So A is at 6, 6, B is at 10, 7, and C is at 8, 2. And the center of the triangle is the point of intersection of the three medians. So we're going to write the equation for two medians and find their point of intersection. We're going to let M be the midpoint of AB and N be the midpoint of AC. So using our midpoint formula, we get that M is going to be at 8, 6 and a half, and N is going to be at 6, at, excuse me, at 7, 4. All right, since segment C, CM is vertical, its equation is going to be X equals 8. Segment BN has a slope of 1, so its equation is going to be Y equals X minus 3. And the coordinates of the centroid are going to be at 8, 5. And looking back, let L be the midpoint of BC. The equation for segment AL is y equals negative 1 half x plus 9, which intersects x equals 8 at point D, 8, 5. All right, I want you to check out this example, number 2. Find the average of the x coordinates and the average of the y coordinates of the vertices of triangle PQR and make a conjecture about the centroid of a triangle. So I'm going to give you a minute to think about that, pause the video, and check your answer. All right, here's what I got. The x coordinates are 0, 6, and 3. The average is 3. The y coordinates are 8, 4, and 0, and the average would be 4. So the x-coordinate of the centroid is the average of the x-coordinates of the vertices of the triangle, and the y-coordinate of the centroid is the average of the y-coordinates of the vertices of the triangle. All right, brings us to our next vocabulary word, which is an altitude of a triangle. It is a perpendicular segment from a vertex to the line containing the opposite side. Every triangle has three altitudes. An altitude can be inside, outside, or on the triangle. Okay, notice RP is outside the triangle, and same thing with line SP and line YX. Those are all outside the triangle. But you'll notice the right angle on all of these. Altitude is another word for height. Okay, in triangle QRS, altitude QY is inside the triangle, but segment RX and segment SZ are not. The point of concurrency is called the orthocenter. As I said before, the height of a triangle is the length of an altitude. So height and altitude mean the same thing. All right, we're going to actually look at this and find the ortho center of a triangle on a coordinate graph. That's when you find an equation of the line containing the altitude from z to xy. So we're going to go from z and we want an altitude from x, y, so it's got to be perpendicular. Now since x, y is vertical, the altitude is going to be horizontal. The line containing it must pass through point z, which is at 7, 1, so the equation of the line is y equals 1. Like so. Uh, next, we need to find an equation of the line containing the altitude from y to x, z. So we got to find the slope. The slope of a line perpendicular to x, z is negative 4 thirds. Remember, we do the opposite reciprocal. So we flip the fraction and change the sign. This line must pass through point y, which is at 3, 6. 
We're going to plug that into the point slope formula. So I mean substitute 6 for y1, negative 4 thirds for m, and 3 for x1. So we'll go ahead and distribute. Add 6 to both sides. And this is our equation. y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 10. All right, now we need to solve the system to find the coordinates of the ortho center. So substituting in 1 for y, we get this. Subtract 10 from both sides. Then we want to multiply both sides by a negative 3 fourths. And we get that x is 6.75. So that means that the coordinates of the ortho center are going to be 6.751. Alright, I want to show that the altitude of segment JK passes through the ortho center of triangle JKL. The equation of the altitude of segment JK is y equals negative one half x plus three. Now we're going to substitute these points or these coordinates negative two four, and we get that four is equal to four. So that means yes, it does pass through the ortho center. 